Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Jeff, and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic. And today we are playing some Orcus deck, Orcus Treasure, because Orcus is an amazing card with X and four mana, five, three with flying and trample. So already an amazing stat creature just at the four mana slot. When it enters battlefield, we get to choose one of these. Uh, each other creature gets negative X and negative X until end of turn where X is how much we can pay for it and you lose x life or return up to x target creature cards with total mana value x or less from your graveyard to the battlefield they gain haste until out of turn so this is a card that is fantastic on turn four but also can be insanely busted if we get to spend lots and lots of mana on it and that is why we're playing the treasure deck here with this trying to play a bunch of different treasures so we can bring back a bunch of cards from the graveyard to the battlefield or just wipe the board if ever we need to and have you know it's it's a good board wipe and that's awesome. And then we have things on the top end here with Goldsman Dragon Inferno. Of course, they're just they're good in treasure decks. They're powerful. We're going to play them. And so Orcus just hits the perfectly in this four drop slot for a treasure deck. And so we are playing just a bunch of removal in the early game, kind of trying to play as much of a mid range style deck as we can while still playing treasure creatures. So Kalein, Magda, Zorn, Schoolport Merchant. We're playing uh, Tybalt, Valky, Valky get in the two drop slot and with treasure, you can actually get up to the X where we can turn it into a, a really powerful creature faster than other decks. And then Shanley Gas to kind of help us out with the deadly dispute and get extra treasures in the early game. And so we don't care about a lot of these creatures dying in the early game. It would be, it would be nice if they didn't, you know, Kalein is really nice to have. Mog is really nice to have uh, school part merchant being another dwarf for Mog is pretty sweet here too. I'm actually not putting as heavily into Magda because it doesn't create treasures immediately. Zorin coming in into two as two of, I actually I like the card making extra copies is nice, but it's a really dead card on, on turn three a lot of the time. Uh, if it dies immediately, it's just a complete waste of turn and it dies to flip and everything. So it's not typically that good of a card, but it's still powerful enough to hit two drops, a uh, two of here. Goldson Dragon, of course, being awesome here. And that's the main idea of this deck. Klain makes Orcus even better. Just having like a massive flying trample creature. That's good. So early game, make sure we make treasures, make sure we have removal for important things. And then these three cards in the top and the late game and hopefully that's enough for us faceless havens in the side or in the mana base uh frostbite here just as a two of to make sure that using snowlands is worth it and that's the deck let's go and dive into the gameplay see how it does for us and wish me luck here we go Hey everyone, a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button. In the last 28 days, I had nearly 80,000 returning viewers. That means people have watched multiple videos of mine. And so if all of you guys hit the subscribe button, it would help support the channel so much. It's insane. So if you guys haven't already hit the subscribe button, greatly appreciated. All right, let's dive in the gameplay. All right, up against Pufulik and we'll keep this hand. This hand seems legit. I like it lots. Hello. Yeah, Magda into Schoolport Merchant actually a pretty sweet little uh good cards there. They're they're good. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, mountain pass the turn. <laughs> we do want to find some of our bigger things eventually, and not only lands. Paladin class. Noise. All right, play out Magda, pass the turn. This guy has Vigilance. That's actually a little bit annoying. That means that even if they play out other creatures here, we're going to have to deal with this before we can actually like attack him with Magda. Schoolport Merchant's going to be nice to have. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely need to kill this Aspirant. No blocks. This guy's going to get big, though. So what I could do is play out Merchant, attack and when this taps down, play Dragonfire onto the Cleric and see if they want to trade off with Aspirant. I'm not sure if they would be willing to or not. Um, so... Attack in. Let this resolve. Dragon fire. Kill cleric. All right. And I don't think they're going to block here. If they do, I'm actually kind of okay with it, though. We get to just play it out in Orcus on the next turn. And that's great for us. Yeah. If we get, if we get to get rid of that, like that's... We got rid of two really powerful cards and we get to keep our board state. So sweet. 
clarion spirit all right uh holding off for orcus might be a really nice thing here so yeah we need another creature to play good yeah orcus gets rid of a lot of things soon throw this out in red let's play shamley ghast um we can s sacrifice this to draw a card create a treasure So let's pass the turn. All right, so let's act in response to that. Let's go ahead and uh, sacrifice Shamley Ghast. Um, it would be nice to create a treasure, but let's go ahead and kill kill this dude. We can end up killing everything. Actually, no, we don't with with Orcus. Not yet. So yeah, let's just go ahead and kill Usher. Get a draw card. Hopefully find something worth playing on the next turn. Dragon's Fire kills uh, Spirit. That's nice. Goldspan Dragon. Better than Dragon's Fire? Well, yeah, we get to play both, right? So yeah, definitely better. Okay, attack in. Just a gold goldspan dragon here. Down to 16. Dragon's fire. And there we go. Kill clarion spirit and fantastic shape now. Everything is great. Yeah, Orcus on the next turn with goldspan dragon means we get to... Just bring back creatures. Mogged and Shanley Gas seems pretty legit. I don't think we need to kill anything at this point. Spellbinder. All right, so it gets more expensive. Still manageable, though. All right, so it's... It's adding an extra one because of Paladin class right now. That's not actually how it works. Um, down to 13. Hmm, more lands. All right, so. Could just play it out for six. Get nothing else out of it. Um, if I swing with uh, Goldsman Dragon, this dies. I get to bring back Magda and Shambling Ghast. Is that powerful enough? Oh, I don't actually get the two mana if this trades off, though. I can bring back just Shambling Ghast. I think we just play it out for zero. Do I want to trade off? Whenever it attacks, it gets a uh, plus one plus one for each other attacking creature and gains double strike. That can actually be really bad. Yeah, I'd rather trade off. If they want to kill the merchant, I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, this is actually uh, really powerful. So whenever you attack until a turn, target creature gets that. So this can end up being almost lethal. If they attack all in, though, we get to swing back. For each other attacking creature, so it only gets plus one, plus one. So 10 points of damage. If they have a buff spell in hand, that's a huge gamble if they got it. But yeah, we're going to we're going to block here. Take 10, swing back for do we have lethal? Actually, we don't. We can jump on the next turn at least, though. Come on, removal. We have lots of it in the stack. 
Okay, pass is my turn. Is that enough? Eight. Yeah, that's that's enough. Sweet. All right, good draw, good top deck. Uh, man, the, the the last level of Paladin class is actually pretty sweet. Uh, I kind of forget about the last level there. That is actually really powerful. We need to we need to play something around that soon. All right, I'm gonna spin Zunha and sweet, an actually decent opening hand. I like it. Great stuff. Lead off with Swamp. Any snow lands we can get out first, we go for, her, and then hopefully we can find a snow red land. Doesn't really matter for us. The only thing we're playing that for is for the Faceless Havens and Frostbites. And with how much removal we have, we should be fine. Pass the turn. All right, so playing out a turn three Orcus without any other ability, is that worthwhile? It's a 6-4, which means it's pretty difficult to kill. Power Word Kill doesn't kill it. Um, so, they're playing, so they are playing the Dragon stuff, which means that they could have... A dragon's fire with a really good card in hand. And now we can get up to gold spend dragon a little bit quicker. Let's um play it like this. Let's go ahead and play merchant. I don't want their dragons to have ward, so let's go ahead and get rid of that now. Down to 19. Orcus and Goldstone Dragon definitely get better if we hold on to with more mana. I don't know. I I don't know what I'm trying to say, guys. We're just gonna play magic. Alright, plays out Nadar. I knew that they had Nadar, so I wanted to hold up Dragonfire to be able to kill this. Um, is that better than playing out an Orcus? Because we know that they're going to be playing Dragonfire, I, I think so. It's a tough call. All right, so Goldsman Dragon. Become a 5-5. Five five. Yes. Swing in. Um, actually, swing in with everything. Uh, hold up control here. Three attacks. Resolve. There we go. And hit in for damage. Down to 11. Pass the turn. Orcus in hand. Lots more power. Still great stuff. Yeah, that actually turned out really well for us. <laughs> so, see, that's the benefit of slowing things down, yo. Valky. Um, so this is actually what we do. So we attack in here and here. So that yeah, blocks the merchant. Get in down to six, and we can Orcus and kill everything but our Goldsmith Dragon and Orcus. Is that actually worthwhile? It's an intriguing option. Valky could be decent for us. Let, let's hold off. Pass the turn. Killing Galazeth might be nice, though. Uh, they have... No, actually, they don't have Tiamat. Tiamat is seven mana, right? Okay, lifelink, though, is annoying. Gets in for damage, protects themselves a little bit more. Uh, we're going to get up to Valky, which is going to be sweet. Um, and the Frostbite. Okay, attack in. Goldsmith Dragon, attack in. Swing 
So let's play Frostbite, kill Dragon. Play Valky, or Tibolt, I mean. Get rid of Prismari. I should have done this all before the combat. Like, what was I thinking? Yeah, I, sometimes I just like. Oh wait, no, I had to attack in for the gold for the for the treasure. Okay, I was thinking. I was thinking. <laughs> I just stopped thinking after that. Are we against Gusto Ruta? And we do have some two mana things to play. I think I'd rather Mulligan try to get up to at least three lands or try. Oh, dang it! Come on, Mulligan. What? That's like the exact same hand. Mulligan. Dude, we can't find more than two lands in how many hands does it take to find more than two lands? Okay, it took it took that many. Um, is this actually keepable? <laughs> Should we try to keep three lands? Well, um, dude, we finally had a good hand after way too many draws. Wow, okay, well, done with that one, I guess. Up against Dr. T and Magda on turn two, and then a bunch of expensive stuff. We probably ought to mulligan. Dude, this is happening again. We can't keep mulliganing this badly. Sure. Man, I, I don't know what's going on, man. There's there's some really bad mulligans. Um, what what would I rather have? Uh Magda on turn two or just deadly dispute, create all the treasures, and then and then Skullport Merchant might be better. Um, we only have one Magda, but like Skullport Merchant is actually better in this deck than everything else. So I think we go this way. Shamley Gas into Deadly Dispute create two treasures schoolport merchant um hopefully hit a land and then we just can hopefully play something really really powerful soon that's the dream lots of ramp into something awesome valky could be a really good thing to get up to okay, attack in pass the turn All right, we know that they already played out Disruption. I probably should have sacrificed on the last turn because if they have a counter spell here, it's so brutal for us. Luckily, we at least get the treasure no matter what. The sacrifice is n no matter what. I should have I should have done it on the last turn. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, well. Merchant. At least we need to get that out. Up to five mana, past the turn. Valky, uh, a Tybalt seems really good. Having two more cards there would have been so nice, though. Now we're down to one card left. Having Mulligan down to five, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay. All right, up to six mana. So we're going to keep trying to go for Valky. There's the land. Do they have a counter spell? Let us see. They didn't. Wow, that's huge. That is huge. All right, sweet. Now we're actually in the game. Uh, Belfo Mastery we just stole two, so they probably do have removal. I'm guessing probably their own Belfo Mastery. Um, what? Nothing? Oh. <gasps> Wow. Okay, he gets to set up what's on top of their deck. Oh wait, no, this is this is just from uh Fortel, right? Or no no no. I don't know what I'm talking about. They kept all three on top, and we got a Professor Onyx. Sweet. Uh, man, do I want Professor Onyx over Goldsman Dragon? That's a tough choice, but I, I think, I think we do. Open your books to page. Yeah, more card draw seems legit. Um, Orcus is really good. Yep. Keep the threats rolling. Wow, this turned around quick. And actually, Professor Onyx being able to give us extra stuff for um, the graveyard so we can have a bigger Orcus to have more things come back from the graveyard is actually pretty cool. Confront the Pass has a way to get rid of Tybalt. Okay. Um, 
Exile all cards from all graveyards. How many stuff is in there? Things are in the graveyard. Soul Shatter. All right, they go for it right away. Makes sense. Uh, let's actually get Faceless Haven out now. Um, Goldsmith Dragon attack in. Now let's just have enough mana for Baleful Mastery. So pass the turn, and then on the next turn, we have the, enough to be able to play everything back again. Um, unfortunately, I think Valky just comes back as Valky. Lame. They have the ability to play out Professor Onyx. We know that they know that we can get rid of it right away, though. And then we have Faceless Haven online. Uh, how much mana will we have if we don't build for Mastery? Can we actually bring Goldstone Dragon back with Orca? So four, one, two, three, four, so five. So we can actually bring back Goldstone Dragon with Orcus. Ooh, that's big. They have to sacrifice. Oh, wait, so let me just make sure I have this right. So we have four, four mana for Orcus, then one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we have enough. So we don't, we don't respond with the Belfield Mastery there. Pass to my turn. Play this out on red. Play Orcus X five. So Goldsman Dragon up to X target creatures with total mana. Okay, total mana. I was reading that wrong. I was thinking it was just everything. That would be too busted. But we get a free Goldsman Dragon. I think that's legit. Um, still happy with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Pass the turn. And we get to hold on to Belfo Mastery. Two threats now. They're probably going to need um, Blood in the Snow, which they don't have enough snow lands to actually get back anything useful. They still are maintaining a good grip of cards here. Yeah, Shambling Gas in a Deadly Dispute is actually a really powerful combo. You get to ramp two mana and draw a bunch of cards. Seems great. All right, it's highest mana value, so Goldsmith Dragon dies. I think that we just start going for Faceless Haven here, right? So yeah, Faceless Haven. Attack in. So we get a draw. That's nice. Um, more lands. Play out Shambling Ghast. Um, we'll play out land. Because we're playing Orcus, having, having more mana is definitely worthwhile. Uh, so just keep getting out lands. There's no reason to be holding back a ton. We, we also want to be able to play Baleful Mastery, which we're going to have to use the treasure, I think. Okay, Lolth. Darkness will swallow the light. Okay, there's the Lolth. So they have the ability to kill Orcus, except we do have the answer for that as well. So let's go ahead and not use the treasure. Actually, wait, we don't have to because it's colorless, huh? Um. I get rid of Wolf. <laughs> At least there is blood on your hands. Hmm. We need to draw more action and sometime soon would be great. So 
So this does have trample, so that's still nice. I want to actually hold back the shambling gas for now. Um, it actually is a decent answer for the spiders and whatnot. Pass the turn down to six. I know I keep saying I'm going to play out the lands, but I forgot to this time. Yeah, good call. Create a treasure. Man, an Orcus would be really sweet off the top. Two mana left. Could still be a counter spell. Negates are a little bit annoying if we have uh if we run into a Tybalt. If we just hit all lands, though. Oh, there's a Kalane. I, I like Kalane. Kalane is sweet if we can find a Goldsman Dragon here. Or Inferno would be really good, too. They're pr they've got to be playing Power Word Kill. And the fact that we have uh, Demons and Dragons is pretty sweet. Yeah, Power Word Kill just doesn't kill enough stuff. It doesn't even kill Faceless Haven. Like That's the other thing, too, is it doesn't kill Faceless Haven because it's a Dragon, Demon, Angel, all of it. Uh... The power word kill just has way too many limitations. Why are we not trying anything but lands? That's cool. Down to five. I, I'm going to hold on to this one. We're, we're already at a point where we can play everything back from our graveyard with an Orcus. Not everything, but a lot of stuff. We hold the multiverse. Yep, keep drawing cards, yo. Good for you. Two to the top. Good. Man, we just we just are drawing so poorly. This was a mulligan down to five, rem remind you. Uh, like this. We've been low on cards this entire time. And we still have drawn how many lands? This one was theirs. But um, we, we've drawn a lot. Yeah, 22 cards from our deck. And we have eight, nine. I guess that's that's about at normal. Okay, fine. Ugh. Now we're drawing all of our bad stuff. Come on, counter it. You know you want to. Hmm. Yeah, Morden Caden seems seems legit. Doesn't draw the I mean, create the dog actually. Interesting. I feel like if I was in their spot, I would want that protection and also the threat to start actually attacking in aggressively. We're we're gonna keep sending damage at face. If we can get within Goldspan Dragon range, you know, down to four. Great. That's what we need. Pass the turn. That's another land. That's a 16-16. See, this is where you don't play lands and don't get rid of cards from hand. You, you want to keep that guy big, don't you? Another land! Come on, deck. Okay, now it's getting ridiculous. To control, one must first know. Well, we... They're not going to kill this. Interesting. I feel like this is actually one of the, the weaknesses that I find with a lot of people that play control is they are in such good shape that they can let the game go longer and longer and longer. And I do think that it is better to always be um, slowing the game down. I, I think it is almost always or sorry, not not slowing the game down. It's it's almost always better to actually try to try to kill the person when you can. Um, 
on that turn guaranteed he had some sort of removal and i don't think it would have been too expensive like maybe not M maybe it was something like a shadow's verdict or whatever but i i feel like it's i guess maybe not everything i just said is wrong don't listen to me in the position that they're at they only have four life they need to hold on to every card that they can to make sure that they can ha uh, block a gold spend dragon yeah dude this one was just brutal mulligan down to five the tibble was awesome we started coming back they just had answers for everything rough all right up against oh no marcio and the first thing we can actually play is Schoolport Merchant. Is that good enough? On the play, sure. We'll try it out. Okay, Mountain Pass the turn. Swamp Pass the turn. Another Deadly Dispute Merchant. Go. Uh, so on the next turn, do we play out the Orcus? This block of Valky. I can play out Shambling Gas, Deadly Dispute, get two more treasures, get up to Inferno a little bit quicker. I, I think I actually want to just play out the Orcus here on zero. Hopefully they don't have removal. Doesn't matter here. No attacks. Pass the turn. I want to try to keep their life total lower. All right, so it is full on angels. Flying death touch haste. No blocks. Okay, clean. Attack him with Orcus. Get the life total a little bit lower. We really need to find removal. So I want to use this deadly dispute. Um, pass the turn. Oh, man. Um, if we can stop them from getting too much life, that just yeah, okay, yeah, we're we're done. All right, yep, you got us. Good hand there, sir. I have against Bird XYZ and keep this hand. I mean, I, Shambling Gas into Deadly Dispute, I think, is just some of the best m magic you can play. Pass the turn. Klain, also rather sweet. We'll hold off on Deadly Dispute, I guess. Down to 19, pass the turn. Klain probably dies. It's fine. Thank you. Pass the turn. Didn't hit the land, though. That is a big deal. If we do find land here, though, we have Goldsmith Dragon as a 6-6. Six, six. That's sweet. Okay, pass my turn. There's the land. Goldsmith Dragon. Yes, sir. That's legit. Um, I already played one land, so we don't need to draw this turn. Pass the turn. Yeah, getting Goldstone Dragon out of the four damage range actually dodges so much removal. 
divide by zero is still a possibility there's there's still quite a few cards that are scary um we have the other goldspan dragon it would be better if i had two more treasures though so yeah auto pay we kill shambling gas now simply to get more damage out of the other one like we we don't need it with him tap down but we're gonna do it anyway because we're awesome Okay, Goldsman Dragon. Yes. <laughs> wait, is it equal to the amount of mana that you use? Wait, wait, how does Kalein, uh read? So it's uh, one counter for each mana from treasure spent to cast them. Oh, I thought it was just, just the number of treasures. So having extra mana from the treasures is actually huge. Awesome. All right, so we ended up with a 50% win rate with this one. Uh, I'm kept the mulligan game where I just mulligan like crazy on it. Wow, a lot of a lot of stuff there. So uh, a lot of games on the draw, which is or on the play, which is not normal for me. Uh, but the deck was OK. Um, yeah, the definitely mulliganed a lot. Like we had a mulligan a lot of times. And I think part of that is well, I was going to say it's, it's because we don't have enough in their early game, but we have so many early game plays and we just were drawing like all of these cards, some games and then other games where we just had all the lands. Uh, is it worthwhile to bring in dual lands? Is it worth it to bring worthwhile to bring in Sulphur's Mind? Maybe. Um, This actually is a decent card to bring in as well. I think it's always an OK card. It's because it does three damage to somebody and discards, so it's always good. But Sulphur's Meyer, uh, might be worth bringing in i do think it's a good card um for snow j just so that we don't have as many hands that we're only drawing mountains or only drawing swamps because that does make it really really difficult to play a game like we had quite a few games where we had clean and magda or whatever and all swamps for the other games where we had you know other things but all mountains and that happened we had a mulligan those kind of hands away so many times and I, that partly that's just because we only have four sets in standard 2022 and that's not enough to have good lands typically um typically you need like five to six sets to where you actually have decent mana bases for multicolored decks and so that's okay that's just how it goes orcus however like was it a good card? Absolutely. It was fantastic. I didn't ever board wipe. I don't think we ever really needed to. I wasn't sure if we were going to very much because of all of the creatures that we have in the early game, but we didn't. We had enough removal with Frostbite. Actually, I don't think we ever saw Frostbite. I mean, we did one time and it was great. Frostbite, Blood Cheese Thirst, Dragon's Fire seems legit enough to have really good removal. Orcus being on the top and to then use whenever we need to, really good. Like the deck just seemed really powerful. Clane with Goldsmith Dragon, so good. It's so powerful. So yeah, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much and bye-bye.